welcome to the post gate guidance session by the gate academy first of all i would like to congratulate all of you who has done well in gate exam my name is mayur bidla and i am doing i am doing ma masters of engineering from indian institute of science bangalore currently i am into fourth semester in 2013 i scored all india rank of 23 now let us begin with the session first of all i will give you the brief about the uh, 2015 gate uh, mechanical engineering so uh, as you all of you know rank 1 scored 98.33 marks then up to rank 200 the marks were 80 plus up to rank 850 the marks were 74 plus up to rank 1000 rank marks were 73 plus up to rank 2000 marks were 70 plus up to rank 3000 it were 64 plus and for 4000 Marks were 61 plus. So friends, uh, this is this all marks are approximate. This is just to give you an idea where do you stand. So after gate, what do you do after gate? So as you know, there are two options after gate. That is, either you will go for M Tech or PhD. or you will get some job into psc so uh, if you are confu confused between what to choose let us think beyond that what you want to do after that let us say after mtech there is again two possibility you can go for phd or you can go for job again job can be private or again you can land up into psc so my suggestion is if after pursuing your master you want to get a job and you want to get into psu i will suggest directly go for job because once you secure the job what you can do is you can by uh, sponsorship you can after uh, serving for few years by sp uh, under sponsorship you can again join mtech program so this will save you lot of money and you can even earn so that is that will be the good option but if you are sure that you want to get into a private sector or you want to go for phd then kindly pursue mtech now let us see what are the option if 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 you are going for job then up to what rank shall you go for job so up to ar 500 you will uh, there is high probability that you will get called from psus but it is suggested that up to rank 1200 you should apply for psu you never know you can get a call about pursuing mtech or me so if you are looking for core mechanical engineering so what option you are having you can go into fluid fluids and thermal you can either go into design this is for mechanical so these two branches are favorite of uh, many of them that's why the cut off for both of them will go very high then again there is manufacturing you can go into cad cam you can even go to mechatronics
you can go to production or industrial engineering. If you want to go for aerospace, again for mechanical, you can switch to aerospace for pursuing your master. In aerospace, either you will go into aerodynamics, structure, control, or propulsion. Now, which field to choose? First of all, it depends on your interest, what you are interested into. If you are confused what to choose, if you, if you want what will make your future prospect good, then fluids and, uh, fluids and thermal and design has lot of scope, manufacturing, CAD, production, in, in industrial. If you go for these branches, you will surely get some good job after pursuing your uh, masters. Mechatronics, again, this is a good branch, emerging, emerging branch. So, uh, with your interest, you can even try for mecha uh, mechatronics. In aerospace, aerodynamics, structures and control are very popular. Structures and design go hand in hand. In India, for uh, propulsion, I will say there is a little less of a scope because due to infrastructure. Propulsion basically, uh, in propulsion you will learn about uh, different kind of engines working and how to design them. And uh, those, uh, those who have got uh, lesser rank or those who are very much interested, they can even go for material science. and nanotechnology. For material science, as you know, IIC is among the best. Again, uh, you can go for IIT Bombay, you can go for uh, Kharagpur, Kanpur, nanotechnology. There are uh, new centers established uh, for nanotechnology in IIC in IIT Bombay, also IIT Kanpur, Kharagpur and Delhi are working lot of into nanotechnology. Now let us see what are the ranking in India for engineering college. So you must be knowing that IIC at the top. So, if you are uh, looking for uh, doing masters from IIC in mechanical engineering, if your rank is between 1 to 50, you should apply. If you are going for aerospace engineering, your rank should be between 1 to 100. Last year, cutoff for IIC was something around 34 for open category, all India rank of 34. Then uh, second comes IIT Bombay. So uh, for IIT Bombay, uh, as you know, there are uh, four branches. Uh, this time IIT Bombay is not uh, allowing for nuclear engineering. So for IIT Bombay, your all India rank should be between 1 to 300. So you can get uh, some good branch in uh, IIT Bombay. And for this is for mechanical, this is for aerospace. For aerospace, you can go even up to 1 to 500. And for other branches, uh, apart from mechanical and aerospace, you can even apply up to 750 rank. Uh, now, there is lot of confusion again. Those who have scored good marks, what where to go? IIC or IIT Bombay? So uh, I would like to clarify a small myth which I faced during my admission. So uh, we all know that it is said that in IIC uh, professors post for you for uh, pursuing 
PhD and they don't uh, support that much for uh, placement. But I will tell you this is not true. Uh, in IIT, if you look for mechanical department, professors are very good and uh, they give you complete freedom. What and even for placement in the core, if you are uh, going into uh, core companies, the placement for IIC and IIT Bombay, they go in hand in hand. So you can expect package something around 10k, 10 lakhs per, per annum. So uh, even uh, it is like uh, we are said that if you land up into IIT Bombay, you can earn 20 lakhs to 40 lakhs. But, but if you are looking for core branches, uh, this is the uh, uh, average package which you can expect. Then uh, what is the advantage of IIT Bombay? IIT Bombay, the advantage is there are a lot of uh, non-core branches like finance, uh, management. So you can land up into that and you can have a good package. So if you are looking for a good job, go for IIT Bombay. If you are just looking for uh, good research, go for IIT. Then again, for IIT Delhi, You can, uh, if your rank is up to 800, you can apply. So uh, I will suggest uh, those who want to land up uh, after after master, those who want to land up into IAS or IES, they can go to IIT Delhi because the thing is, as you know, uh, there are a lo uh, lot of good coaching and uh, a lot of good atmosphere available into IIT Delhi. So you can prepare well if you go into IIT Delhi. Again, for IIT Madras, Again, the rank will up to 800 will uh, will fetch you to uh, uh, IIT Madras. The strength of IIT Madras is uh, the thermal science and automobile is really good into IIT Madras. So, if you are looking for uh, getting into automobile or thermal science, please go for IIT Madras. Then comes IIT Kanpur. So, uh, IIT Kanpur again. Uh, if your rank is up to 1000, uh, you should apply for IIT Kanpur. What are the strengths for IIT Kanpur? In IIT Kanpur, there is a lot of good computational work into IIT Kanpur. Uh, there is uh, very, uh, you need very uh, good mathematical uh, background and uh, if, even if you don't have mathematical background, you will develop it after going to uh, IIT Kanpur. Again, in IIT Kanpur, a lot of uh, good work is going for uh, CFD into fluid. So uh, those who are inter uh, interested into fluid, uh, you can opt for IIT Kanpur, IIT Bombay. You can go for uh, aerospace branch there. Then comes IIT Kharagpur. So uh, again, if your rank is up to 1000, uh, you can apply for IIT Kharagpur. Then comes IIT Roorkee. Again, for IIT Roorkee, if your rank is up to 1500, uh, you should apply for IIT Roorkee. Then comes IIT Guwahati. If your rank is up to 2000, you can go for IIT Guwahati. The placement scenario, uh, I will say for I, uh, IIT Guwahati, uh, is not at par with IIT Bombay, Delhi or IIC. Then uh, uh, after uh, these colleges, you can go, uh, go for NITs. I will suggest in, instead of going for uh, new IITs, you can go into NITs, few NITs which are top. NITs like Trichy, Warangal, and Suratkar. So you can go into uh, this one. Even NIT Allahabad is a good option to explore. Then uh, after uh, this, uh, this NITs, you can even uh, get into new IITs.
after new iit you can try for a few other nits and then uh, you can also go for uh, some state colleges so uh, this ranking Sorry for interruption. So uh, this ranking you can even uh, get uh, get from uh, various sources on internet like Outlook, uh, India Today. All these uh, 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 sites will give you rankings. Again, uh, for IITs you have to apply for individual IITs. There is no uh, centralized process which is available for uh, applying uh, for IITs. So you have to go to each and every IIT website and, uh, and uh, you have to apply there. But for NITs, uh, there is one centralized process. You can visit CCMT site and this is the centralized process. So if, any, uh, if you want to apply for any NIT, you uh, log into this site and uh, whatever formalities need to be done, you can find on this uh, CCMT website. Again, uh, one more point. So let's say if if, if your rank is uh, somewhere between 500 to 1000. So definitely, uh, it is very difficult to get into IIC or IIT Bombay uh, Masters of Engineering or Master of Technology program. But if you are very passionate to go into IIC, IIT Bombay, so what can be done is you can upload, go for MSc program. So uh, what is MSc program? So in uh, I will just uh, uh, brief you about the MSc program. So what distinguishes MSc from uh, MTech or ME? So uh, in MSc, uh, you have to do lot of research, and this program you have to do lot of coursework. Uh, let's say uh, for ISC, for if you are doing mechanical ME, so you have to do 12 courses, and if you are uh, MS, uh, if you are MSc, you need to do only four courses. So uh, it is expected that you spend your lot of time into research rather than doing coursework. Uh, you do only whatever is required, coursework. And ME program is of fixed duration, that is two years. However, MSc can go anywhere between uh, 1.5, this is the minimum duration, up to three years. So uh, if you are very good, you can even finish in 1.5 years, two years, 2.5 or three years. So it depends on you. Uh, the cutoff for MSc is uh, little on the lower side compared to ME and MTech. So uh, apart from the advantage, what are the uh, uh, drawbacks? Uh, the thing is, in MSc in India, if you are going for a placement, not lot of company consider MSc candidates. Uh, in their eligibility, eligibility criteria, it is clearly given that only ME or MTech. But if, if you want to apply for a PhD program, outside, abroad. So uh, you can uh, surely go into MSc. This will uh, give you good paper and you can land up into good uh, university abroad. But publishing in paper, in uh, research paper in, in ME and MTech is really challenging. So now we can start with our question and answer session. Uh, I will request all of you uh, while asking your question, please post your all India rank as well as your uh, uh, gate score. Okay. So, uh, first question is for my gate score is 468 in general category. To what? Institute, can I apply? I'm Manoj Thapa. Okay, that, okay, that's it. So uh, your uh, gate score is 468. Uh, I think 
uh, you should go for uh, NITs uh, which are uh, uh, which are uh, lower like NIT Srinagar. Uh, but this score, uh, to be very frank, uh, won't get you into any NITs. You can even try for state colleges. Uh, next score is from Manush Thapa. Uh, my rank is uh, 3072 and gate score 686. What is uh, my choice for admission? And I have color branded, so which branch I will not take? Okay, uh, Manoj, uh, so color blindness is not an issue for uh, getting into, uh, uh, into academics, but color blindness is an issue for getting into PSUs. And a uh, few of the private companies uh, also don't consider uh, uh, for, uh, uh, I mean, will not consider you. So uh, I will suggest you to uh, choose your branch wisely. Uh, uh, let's say I will suggest don't go into uh, thermal side. Why? Because if you want to go into uh, PSUs like NTPC or all these things, so uh, you cannot get a job. Uh, I will suggest for 4,000 rank, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, you can go for uh, NITs. Even NIT Surat, you can apply. Jaipur, you can apply. NIT Nagpur, you can apply. So this all NIT, uh, you can try. OK. Uh, my gate score is 539, category general, rank 9605. Uh, can I expect call from NIT? Uh, no, uh, I think it is very difficult to get a call uh, at uh, 9,000 rank from NIT. But uh, uh, you can uh, see last year cutoff from CCMT website. They have posted all 2014 uh, gate cutoff, gate score cutoff. So you can uh, visit this site. You will get a fair idea of uh, uh, which NIT you can get. But uh, as per my experience, uh, you won't get any call from NITs. You can try, uh, or you can try non-conventional uh, branches. You, uh, you can even go for uh, uh, like industrial safety and all uh, all this kind of branches. But uh, what my suggestion will be, instead you can write exam once again and uh, get a good score. Because uh, doing masters from a branch which is not that uh, good or uh, which is not uh, into a very code, so instead of that, you can go for a good good branch, even with uh, a college whose ranking is bit bit low. Uh, again, uh, my rank is nine five one six. I think I have already answered for the previous one. Uh, my gate score is uh, seven four three and AIR one five eight eight. Which college can I apply? Actually, you can apply to all college, but uh, I will suggest uh, at that rank, uh, you can go for uh, Kharagpur. Uh, well, it is very uh, difficult to get into Kharagpur. You can even try Rurki, IIT Rurki. And, uh, yeah, you can even consider uh, for get, uh, like I said, for MSc, you can consider because for MSc program, they call you for interview. So even uh, they call for a uh, gate rank, uh, which is uh, very higher, like uh, like you said, uh, like like is the case with you, like 15,000, even they, they might call you. So if you perform really good into interview, you can get into some good NI, uh, IITs. Or uh, with this rank, you can even try for a top for uh, NITs, like NITs Trichy, Suratkar, Varangal, Allahabad. Uh, next question is, my rank is 2541, gate score 704. What are the chances? Yeah, you have a good chances uh, getting into uh, NITs. Uh, uh, you can, you can uh, try for NIT Calicut. You can, uh, NIT Calicut, you can go for uh, branches uh, which are uh, uh, like uh, except for thermal and uh, design, you can go for other uh, branches. NIT Calicut, then uh, NIT Raur Kela is a good, also a good option. 
NIT Surat, NIT Jaipur, all this you can try. Sir, I got uh, 376 score. Is there any private company for me? I want to work. Uh, I think uh, with this low rank, uh, not much of a company will consider. Even if you get uh, opportunity into that company, your progress growth rate won't be that high if you can uh, go for a good uh, master's degree from a good college. Uh, so uh, let's say uh, for that rank, uh, you can expect some salary up, uh, around 15k to 25k, but if you go uh, go for uh, good colleges, your salary will be something around 50k. And uh, it's not about the starting salary; it's about the future growth. So I I will suggest you if you can uh, drop for one one year, uh, it will be good. At uh, 539 gate score, I get admission to climatic science in IST Bangalore. Mm, well, for uh, 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 climatic sciences, uh, 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 the department is known as chaos. So uh, I think you don't have that good chance for uh, getting into IST Bangalore. But uh, they might call you for interview. My gate score is 546 with 51.31 marks. I am from general category. Which NIT can I apply? Please suggest me. Is there any IITs or PSU, including private, that are suitable for me? Uh, with the 546 score, I don't think so. Any seven IITs, which are the old IITs, uh, uh, you can expect any. You cannot expect any call from that IITs. Even uh, with PSU. Uh, with this score, uh, no PSU, uh, I mean, there is very uh, less probability that any uh, PSU will give a call. So again, you can go for uh, uh, NITs, not top NITs, but which are a little bit uh, ranked lower, you can go for them. Or uh, for uh, even you can go for uh, state colleges, like uh, Jadavpur University in Kolkata, or you can go for uh, QAP or BGTI in Maharashtra, or uh, PhD Coimbatore College. So th uh, these all are uh, good options. This one, sir. My rank is six thousand two eight and gate score uh, six zero two. Sir, please tell me the scope of getting interdisciplinary branches in top IITs. And sir, can you please explain the difference between MS and MTech? Uh, yeah, I think I have already explained you the difference between MS and MTech, but still uh, I will uh, explain it once again. So MS is basically a uh, research intense uh, course where uh, the coursework requirement is low, but you have to carry out uh, good research. And uh, in MTech, there is a lot of course coursework which you undergo. Uh, so this is the basic difference. One is the research intense, uh, one is, uh, what do you call, academic intense uh, program. But uh, there is no such thing that MS is good or MTech is good. It all depends on you. Oh, uh, sir, can I get material science with 6,228 rank in IIT Kharagpur? Uh, no, friend, I think it's really difficult with this rank to get into IIT Kharagpur into material science. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Uh, my gate score is 532. What are the scope for me now? Can I expect a call from NITs? Yeah, you can exp uh, in not in first round, but you can wait for uh, second, third round, or maybe for spot admission, you can wait and uh, uh, you can get a call. But uh, it's very difficult to get a call uh, in the first round. And uh, that too from the uh, top uh, NITs. I, ha I haven't qualified GATE, but my research skills are good. Where can I develop uh, my this skill? Yeah, uh, this is very good question because uh, many of you have not qualified your gate that doesn't mean that uh, you cannot work so uh, one option is that 
uh, if you really want to get into research, so you can apply for uh, uh, research assistant or project assistant program. So. Uh, So uh, in IICs and IITs, uh, in IIC it is known as project assistant. So uh, you you have to mail to prof, and you have to tell your what are your interests. You have to find a professor which is uh, uh, working in your field of interest. You can mail them. You can send your CV and ask is if there are any vacancy for project assistantship. In project assistant, uh, what you do is uh, you work for professor whatever project are ongoing. And uh, thereafter, you can enhance your research skill. Uh, somewhere uh, it is known as research assistant. Somewhere it is known as project assistant. So you can uh, really visit to all IITs or IST sites, and you can get uh, one of them. And then, uh, while doing your project assistantship, uh, you can prepare for your uh, gate and reappear and get into the same colleges. College. Sir, does BTEC, CGP, and previous academic uh, record play a role uh, in getting a seat? Yes, definitely uh, it plays a record. Uh, uh, first of all, your CGPA uh, for all IITs and IIT, there is minimum CGPA criteria, which you, which uh, only on uh, qualifying that you get a uh, call. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. And apart from the thing is. Uh, for mechanical engineering, most of the admission are the direct admission. So, in that, uh, you know, this uh, apart from qualification, like go and no gate, uh, uh, your uh, previous record don't matter. But if uh, if you are uh, going for an interview, there it will matter. Okay, can you explain about industrial safety in uh, uh, safety engineering in IIT3G? What is the difference between G1, G2, and G3? Sorry, uh, this is very specific question, and uh, uh, I have no answer to it. But uh, what you can do is you can visit the visit their site. You can get uh, more input from uh, the site. If you are not satisfied, you can even write to professor. Uh, one thing I would like to tell all of you is that. Uh, if you are having any doubts regarding admission procedure, coursework, or any other doubt, which is a genuine doubt, you can any day write to any professor across the country or even abroad. They will definitely uh, give you. They will definitely call you back, and uh, just uh, make sure that your uh, mail is really humble and language is good. So uh, you can uh, get insight if you want by mailing the professor. Sir, my score is 670 and rank uh, is AIR uh, 3567 OBC category. What are my chances of getting into IITs and top NITs? Well, uh, even with your OBC category, uh, I don't think uh, you will uh, get IITs like uh, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, Kanpur. You can try for Guwahati. You can even try for Roorkee. And uh, with OBC category, I think uh, you have a chance into getting into NIT, good NIT. Sir, which are the best private college in terms of uh, placement? Can you please give the ranking? Okay, uh, like there is, uh, if you if you see, I, I will be very diplomatic to this question. Uh, there is no uh, good good. I mean, there is no uniform ranking because the uniform criteria for all of uh, this uh, India Today outlook they all differ. So after a few uh, uh, IITs or top NITs, everybody is on uh, every NIT uh, or uh, even the new IIT are at the same level. So uh, uh, it depends uh, on your choice. And uh, what I will suggest you should. Look uh, while while choosing private college. If you, let's say you want to get into design, so you can visit the college website which you are targeting. You can see uh, the faculty uh, which are working in design. You can see their recent uh, recent publication. You can uh, uh, see their what are the background, and then you can decide this will be uh, better.
sir how it uh, bit villani when it comes to placement for mtech well uh, bits villani is a, a very good college and uh, for placement uh, you can uh, there is a not 100% placement but if you if you are in the top notch definitely you have good chance to get placed yeah uh, do company place msc or ms yeah uh, definitely uh, not all company consider uh, ms and msc but uh, there are companies uh, which consider msc and uh, uh, it, uh, it i mean it is observed that from iisc iit bombay and all this uh, msc candidate uh, get a good placement my gate score is 713 rank is 2300 2314 can i get a job in government sector uh, i don't completely understand your question can i get a job in government se section as in if you are asking for psu so there is very uh, less probability that you will get a call from uh, psu but anyways if you are uh, 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 if you are not talking about psu yeah you can get why not my gate score is 720 ar 2258 what is the scope of scope to study in um germany yeah uh, this is a good question again a uh, lot of uh, foreign universities like germany singapore they consider your gate score so uh, yeah you have good chance to get into germany and uh, those who cannot make into iit or uh, nits uh, this is again uh, uh, one good thing you can go for uh, uh, foreign universities like germany uh, tu uh, uh, tus in germany or maybe in, into uh, singapore university ranking of cop and vgti is much higher than new iits and some uh, iits yeah i mean uh, uh, i cannot rank exactly where cop and vgti uh, stand but uh, being a uh, old colleges yeah uh, the ranking is uh, uh, good for cop and uh, vgti also there are uh, many old faculties new faculties also are good so uh, if uh, if uh, i don't know what is your score and rank but uh, you can even go for cop and vgti can write down the negative points of doing uh, ms from iits okay so if you if you are looking for a job so that is what i already said not all companies consider ms for their placement so this is only negative uh, point uh, for doing ms because uh, many of the company thinks ms msc as a uh, uh, master of science uh, which is generally done after bs and uh, bsc and msc so they uh, the hr there don't really uh, know what is the actual difference between msc and uh, uh, or mtech or maybe the reason is uh, they don't want research fo uh, research uh, uh, research focus students they want uh, some practical application that's why they go for uh, mtech but uh, frankly speaking Uh, apart from uh, coursework and research there is uh, not much of difference between msc and uh, mtech for score 743 and rank 1588 uh, is there any chance for msc plus phd or mtech plus phd program in higher ed yes yeah, sure there is a good chance for uh, going into msc plus phd into iits but uh, i will like to suggest one thing Uh, which i observe with my friends my peers is that uh, many of uh, us uh, are uh, very enthusiastic at the starting for uh, uh, going into phd but uh, as and when uh, once you enter into phd uh, you feel little frustrating so uh, good option will be go for uh, masters to get a uh, get a feel of what is research and do you really want to spend another four years into phd so i think this is a good option but if you are very sure about uh, research 
you can go for uh, msc and phd program it is very good and it will also save you a lot of time like uh, uh, i will say uh, in india generally after masters the phd duration is 4 and 4 to 4.5 on on an average so your master is for 2 years plus phd is for 4 to 4.5 but if you directly go for uh, ms plus phd integrated program then your uh, direct phd is somewhere around 5.5 again these are the average figure so in uh, going direct phd you say uh, at least one year so and this figure are uh, average like i already said so this is not the fixed duration few people have even completed their phd in 1.5 to 2 years and few also uh, take 8 years so uh, this is the uh, seen currently in uh, iits and iisc can mechanical student goes to applied mechanics in iit my gate score is 695 what is my chances yeah uh, so uh, uh, definitely a mechanical engineer can go into uh, uh, applied mechanics but uh, to be very sure what you can go do is you can go to that specific iit website download uh, information browse uh, brochure for uh, gate and there uh, they have all nits have consistently given matrix where let's say this is applied mechanics so in front they would have written what on sorry uh, i'm sorry so uh, applied mechanics so in front they, uh, they would have written what all branches can apply to this uh, mechanical uh, applied mechanics branch so uh, for example you will get xc which is uh, You, you can even get me all this ae this is just for example that all this uh, those who have given uh, get uh, get qualified in this 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 they can apply for applied mechanics so it is advisable to visit to that individual iit website and download uh, information browser and you will get the uh, correct information there i am not a uh, qualified gate exam can i opt for ms or grf i am very much interested in research area okay uh, uh, i am not sure what you are uh, what you exactly want to ask uh, where you want to do msc is it into uh, iits nits so for iits nits uh, if you are not get qualified no you don't get a chance to uh, be a grf but uh, thing is uh, you can try for csir cs csir lab for csir lab you have to give another exam uh, which is uh, net national eligibility test so if you are net qualified you, you can go into csir and become a uh, junior research fellow so this is also another option but again uh, this net is generally uh, conducted into month of december so already it has conducted so you have to wait for one year if you if you don't want to go for gate uh, again sir i belong to sc category my rank is 21500 what are my chances my uh, anything in mechanical engineering okay uh, uh, so again uh, what you are targeting i don't know i mean nit is private college or state government college but uh, with this rank uh, i think uh, iits are difficult nits top nits are also difficult you can go for some lower ranks or you can go for even state colleges like uh, state colleges are very good like uh, somebody already asked about uh, qap vgti so uh, you can even go for uh, that colleges uh, jadavpur university so you can explore the possibility how good is a clinical engineering for a mechanical engineer well uh, it is very personally depends how much enthusiast you are but uh, to be uh, very frank nowadays whatever research or whatever projects are going on all over country or in fact all over world they are not focused to one sing one single branch everything every project or majority of project rather are interdisciplinary like if you are making uh, working into uh, mechanics or strength of material then uh, you will be modeling the 
uh, Young's modulus of uh, cell tissues and all this stuff. So it comes like even if you want to work into solid mechanics, there is some biological part. So uh, yes, it can be a good option. It depends. It all depends on you. Sir, my rank is uh, 5916 and score is 611. Can I get NIT for design? Oh, uh, with this, uh, uh, with this rank, uh, you will get like uh, if you look into previous year, uh, this you can uh, get NIT Raipur, NIT Agartala, Bhopal, Patna, uh, Silchar. Uh, all these branches you can try, uh, uh, all these NITs you can try with your uh, score. Okay, sir, I am from Jadopur University working in Bajaj Auto with salary of 43k. K. My gate score is uh, 704 and rank is 2541. Should I get into JU or any uh, NITs for MTech or should I drop one year and prepare? Well, I will suggest you should drop for one year and then prepare because with your rank, uh, whatever you will get, uh, like um, uh, NITs, uh, what you can expect is some bottom branches from the uh, 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 top NITs or some good branches from uh, bottom uh, NITs. So uh, the placement scenario in NIT are not that good. So. Uh, uh, it is suggested that you drop for one year, prepare well, and get into some good IITs or ISTs. Sir, I am physically handicapped uh, in color blindness, and my score is 680. So, what are chances in IITs? And rank, uh, okay. So, uh, I don't know what does it mean if physically handicapped in color blindness. So, I think color blindness. Uh, is not considered into uh, PhD uh, P, uh, physically handicapped uh, category, but I am not uh, very sure whether you are having partial color blindness or full color blindness. So it's better you can uh, write to that specific IIT uh, where you want to apply and you can clarify uh, your thing. Okay. Can a good gate score rank help in getting job in private companies? Can a good gate score or rank help in getting job in private companies? What range of score is acceptable? Okay, uh, so uh, sure, if you are having good uh, good score, that means you have already proven that you are uh, good. I mean, uh, this is a national level competitive exam. So uh, there is, uh, in the first impression, there will be a little impact. Uh, uh, while you are uh, uh, going for interviews or even your uh, CV might be considered by a private company. Okay, uh, and you uh, even asked that what is a good score? Uh, well, uh, uh, I'm not sure what is a good score. It all depends on uh, company. So, but anyways, if you can, if your All India rank is something below 2000, uh, you can have a good chance into a private company. Sir, what are the uh, chances of getting a spot admission and CCMT? Uh, what is the importance of gate score for that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, even for spot admission, they consider uh, by gate score, so it is uh, really important. And what are the chances? Well, uh, even I don't know. <laughs> Spot admission is all a uh, matter of luck, so you can try your luck. My gate score is 713, ranking is 2314. What are the good opportunity I have in private and public sector? Well, with this rank, if you are from open category, 2340. Uh, there are very less chances that you will get any call from PSU, but uh, sure, like uh, uh, the one thing is, uh, if you are applying, uh, I, I am getting uh, like lot of question, uh, repeated questions about uh, 
private companies uh, and gate scores. So the thing is, you can make first impact. Uh, your gate score can fetch you till point of enter review. But after that, you have to perform. Even you, if you are AR one, uh, AR rank one. So by looking at your rank, uh, you will at max get an interview call. That is what your gate score will help. So, uh, but for getting a job, you have to really perform. In, you have to perform good into interview. So you are just rank cannot get into any company. My score is uh, 651. Uh, for 62 marks, I will get any PSU or MS program in IIT Madras. Uh, well, MSc program, uh, it's very hard, but uh, definitely uh, PSU, it's uh, very difficult to get a call from uh, PSU. And even for MS program in IIT Madras is uh, a bit difficult. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, with score 465, should I think about uh, IITs or NITs? Well, with score six, uh, with score four sixty five, uh, IITs is not a good option. NITs, even in lower NITs, it's very difficult to get with this score. So better you can uh, take a drop for one year and prepare again. Uh, can you guide me what I can uh, I can do to have my own startup in mechanical field. The innovative idea uh, is about a modified tricycle to reduce the uh, human uh, to reduce the human effort by uh, daily laborers. Okay, that is uh, really good. I appreciate that uh, you are looking towards uh, a startup. So what you can do is uh, uh, well, I don't have that much experience. So what I can tell is only general things. So what you can do is you can make one pro prototype, working prototype, and there are a lot of uh, government advertisement uh, where, uh, where uh, you can correlate your uh, product with that. So uh, once you have built your uh, 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 prototype, you can write a proposal for a, a government uh, sponsored project. So in this way, you can get a funding or uh, you can even look for uh, any capital uh, venture is for uh, uh, funding your uh, startup. Is it better to go with industrial safety engineering? How can we grow in that field? Okay, uh, the thing is better means uh, I don't know with uh, what you are compar comparing industrial safety, but uh, yeah, uh, see the thing is, you you can go into any branch, but the one thing you have to make sure is you have to be into top into that branch. Like not only uh, score wise, you don't have to score good, but you you should have also overall picture. What are the current things going on in India around around the world? All this uh, you should be very updated. So you choose any field. Uh, 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 you have a bright future if you are into top uh, category in, uh, into that field. S Sir, is score 395 for a SC category is useful in getting admission to any good college? Can I hope for NI IITs or NITs? Please reply. Okay. Uh, uh, 395 uh, in SC category. You can uh, definitely get call from uh, NITs. Uh, you you cannot expect a call from Trichy, Varangal, uh, uh, going by the previous year cutoff. It is very difficult to get into good college, good uh, NITs. But uh, with your score, you can get call from uh, Agartala, Silchar, then industrial safety in uh, Trichy, uh, Kurukshetra, all this thing, all these NITs you can uh, try. Any idea about prevailing startups in uh, mechanic field uh, as what I come to know to Google and your story is there are very less startups in uh, mechanical field. Well, uh, I don't have much idea about startup uh, in mechanical field in India. So it's really difficult to answer your question. Sorry.
that is what uh, the next question is do do private companies hire on uh, gate score i think i have already answered this question no they don't hire uh, on your gate score they just give you a interview call on the basis of your gate score but then you have to perform in the interview sir does job uh, does good ex good does job experience also matter in mtech admission or if you don't have job experience after graduation for 2 years does that have any negative impact no uh, i uh, the thing is in mechanical engineering if you are applying for mechanical branches most of the admission are direct admission so there your background doesn't really matter and uh, even if in interview if you have job experience so uh, uh, they don't consider your job experience that much but uh, it's not like uh, uh, like management in management if you are getting into ims your job experience for 2 3 year uh, is a really good uh, it will be a, a very good in your resume but uh, getting for uh, mtech uh, it doesn't help that much but it it might help you indirectly in cracking the interview so that's it sir can i get mtech nuclear engineering in iit kanpur with gate score 602 uh, and uh, rank uh, 6288 well uh iit iit kanpur uh, nuclear i am not very sure but uh, looking at last year thing uh, there are uh, chances that you might get into iit kanpur nuclear so you should de definitely apply and uh, uh, wait for the call Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, is this true that this year the number of seats for master and postgraduate course in India have been increased from uh, 1400 to 10,000? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, there is uh, so substantial increase in postgraduate uh, uh, program. So that's it. can i get energy science engineering in iit bombay as the cut off is very low and my gate score is uh, 602 uh well uh, you can try uh, for that but i am not very sure whether you will get or not but it is advisable that uh, you should apply for that thing maybe in uh, second or third round you might get uh what you say about iit gandhi nagar well uh, i will just say uh, that uh, you first go for established nits if you are not getting into top 7 iits you go for uh, good uh, nits uh, good nits as in you can go for uh, nit trichy varangal surat sir rather than uh, getting into iit gandhi nagar phg college of Uh, engineering cap or vgti how do you compare this college in terms of placement in thermal uh, branch uh well uh, the placement scenario uh, for the uh, rest of the college are more or less same so uh, uh, there you cannot uh, really compare this college uh, in terms of placement uh, i will say uh, uh, all of them uh, will be uh, like on a equal ground my rank is 585 and score 809 uh, will i get a psu call yeah there is very high probability that you will get a psu call so uh, please do apply for psu you have got a good chance what is the uh, okay my gate score is 688 what is the chances to get admission into nit surat kal in mechatronics well i will just check so if you are uh, in nit surat kal uh, the open category cut off for mechatronics was 715 and you have, you have your score is uh, 688 so 688 is eight it is very close to 715 so i will suggest you should definitely apply okay this is the third round cut off uh, last year 
so you should definitely apply for nit surathkal uh, you have got a chance but uh, i'm not sure whether you will surely get or not can i get a chance in paper technology branch in uh, iit roorkee at 50 marks and general category gate gate score uh, 520 well paper technology is not uh, that uh, i mean not lot of people apply for paper technology but uh, with your score uh, uh, there is a slight chance that uh, you can get into uh, iit roorkee so i will suggest you should apply for iit roorkee uh, what is the scope in renewable energy or environmental science for uh, mechanical engineering well uh, for renewable energy there is I, i will say there is a good scope uh, since uh, this government is uh, focusing lot uh, 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 into uh, uh, energy so uh, yeah uh, there is scope but uh, looking for placement point of view if you are uh, seeing from that so uh, not very uh, company uh, uh, very uh, very few company work into uh, non renewable uh, technologies so uh, that wise you have got a good uh, less chance but uh, definitely maybe in coming 5 or 10 years uh, you might have a good chance uh, sir uh, do nit prepare cut off score wise or rank wise because my score is 591 gate 2014 rank uh, 5 5141 yeah sure uh, like i said uh, uh, nit is there is centralized process for getting admission into nit you can log on to this website ccmp and you can get previous year uh, cut off right now presently this uh, site is down so maybe you can wait for few more days uh, you can wait for, for this site to uh, uh, be uh, again functioning and you can download the cut off list and uh, yeah you can compare your uh, previous year uh, 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 previous year cut off with uh, your score okay uh, thanks a lot guys uh, i hope uh, this session uh, was helpful